In today's lesson, we are going to discuss about the vowel E. We will try to form joint letters with this vowel and then add a consonant and form words. So let's start. Now E plus N is E N. E sounds like A and N sounds like N. So when we pronounce them together, it gives us N. N. Here is an example. P E N. Now, E-N sounds like N and P sounds like P. E-N sounds like N and P sounds like P. So, when we pronounce them together, it gives us pen. Pen. It gives us pen. Now, in the second example, you can see that it is M-E-N. Now, E-N sounds like N. You know that. E-N sounds like N and M sounds like M. So, when we pronounce them together, it gives us men. Men. It gives us men. In the third example, you can see that it is T-E-N. So, once again, you know that E-N sounds like N and T sounds like T. So, when we pronounce them together, it gives us ten. Ten. Let us understand this concept even better by an example. Ten men have pens. Ten men have pens. Ten men have pens. Now E plus D is ED. So E sounds like A and D sounds like D. So, when we pronounce them together, it gives us ed. Ed. In the first example, you can see that it is R-E-D. Once again, E-D sounds like ed and R sounds like r. So, it is red. Red. It is red. Now, in the second example, it is B-E-D. Now, once again, E-D sounds like ed and B sounds b. So, when we pronounce them together, it gives us bed. 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 It gives us bed. In the third example, it is T-E-D. And E-D sounds like ed. ED sounds ED and T sounds T. T sounds T. So when we pronounce them together, it gives us TED. TED. It gives us TED. Now a sentence example. This bed is red. This bed is red. This bed is red. Now E plus G is EG. And E sounds like A and G sounds like G. E sounds like A, G sounds like G. So when we pronounce them together, it gives us egg. Egg. Now in the first example, you can see that it is KEG. And once again, you know that EG sounds like egg and K sounds like K. So, when we pronounce them together, it gives us keg. Keg. In the second example, you can see it is PEG. So, EG sounds like egg and P sounds like P. So, when we pronounce them together, it gives us peg. 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 In the third example, you can see that it is L-E-G. So, once again, E-G sounds like egg and L sounds like L. So, when we pronounce them together, it gives us leg. 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 Now, let us discuss a full sentence. A net on a peg. A net on a peg.
a net on a peg. E plus double L gives E double L. Now E sounds like a eh, and double L sounds like l. So when we pronounce them together, it gives us L. L. In the first example, you can see that it is B E double L. So you know that E double L sounds like L, L, and B sounds like B. So when we pronounce them together, it gives us bell, bell, bell. In the second example, you can see that it is W E double L. Once again, you know that E double L sounds like L, L, and W sounds like W, W. So when we pronounce them together, it gives us well, well. In the third example, you can see that it is F E double L. So F sounds like F, F, and E L sounds like L. So when we pronounce them together, it gives us fell, fell, fell. Now here's a sentence example. A cat fell in the well. A cat fell in the well. A cat fell in the well. So this was today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Also, check out the last video on the same series on the vowel a. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. -bye.